Hello America and welcome to Virtual Living. Uh, today we will be making pickled eggs. Uh, I have 60 eggs here. I'm going to make a lot of pickled eggs. It's a wonderful snack. Right now we're boiling water. We're about to boil the eggs. I will boil the eggs for 14 minutes and then I will come back to see you again. Some of the things we will be using today to make pickled eggs pots of course, black peppercorns, garlic, salt, sugar, lots of jars and I'm going to be adding red onion and red pepper and we have an assortment of vinegars. White vinegar is the standard. Apple cider vinegar adds a nice flavor. And I may also try malt vinegar, balsamic vinegar. And today I'm going to add some hot sauce. Valentina hot sauce. Let's see how that comes out. Uh, other things that can be added are beets, but I don't think I'm going to do beets today. Okay, the eggs have had their time and I'm transferring them to a pot of cold water to stop the cooking and Get them down to a temperature I can handle. Okay, time to peel eggs. just say that there is no really good way to peel an egg and if that's true for one egg it's 60 times as true for 60 eggs um, or I should say 55 eggs. A few of the eggs cracked in the boiling water and egg stuff starts coming out and those would not be any good for uh, pickling. But they were okay for lunch. Last egg. These eggshells will end up in my garden. I'll plow them into the soil. They'll add some calcium and other nutrients. I've got uh, garlic coming up right now, and butternut squash is starting to show. Okay, so it's time to make the brine solution. Brine solution is mostly vinegar uh, and water. Water down just to Keep the vinegar under control. I am going to use today uh, a blend of basic white vinegar and apple cider vinegar. And then I'm going to add some water to make the basics. Now before we put in the vinegar we need sugar and salt. I'm going to use a quarter cup of salt. 
60 eggs is going to make about uh, five or six quart jars of pickled eggs. I'm also going to add sugar. Uh, five or six quarts, probably six quarts. So I'm planning on that quantity uh, of liquid, uh, not six quarts, but about half that, three quarts of liquid total. Uh, I'm going to use two cups of sugar now. Sugar? I never use sugar for anything but this. Most of the sugar will be in the liquid, but it does add a very nice flavor to these eggs and makes them extremely munchable without adding a whole lot of calories or sugar in this, really. Uh, just the flavor is soaked in. So I'm going to guesstimate vinegar. About an equal quantity of apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Nothing about this has to be perfect, I hope. And now, roughly, double this quantity with water. Now I will heat this on the stove until all the salt and sugar is mixed in. While the brine is heating, I'm going to cut up my vegetables. I like to use an ostentatious knife. Red onions, a little red pepper in each of the jars with the eggs. Cut them up. A little on the coarse side. That will be a, about this much onion per jar. The whole idea is to make these eggs very flavorful. Just a hard boiled egg Without some help, uh, we'll make you gag. But with all this, and these will take at least two weeks before I can eat them. Uh, I'd let them sit, they'll be fine on the counter. Uh, I can sit here for two weeks and I'll try them out and find out how I did. The longer they sit, the better they get. Something I've never tried is beets. I'm thinking I will add a slice of beet to a couple jars, see how I like that. I've heard that it will turn the eggs red. I don't know if you know the story of how eggs came to be associated with Easter. The, I just learned it. The uh, legend is that Mary Magdalene was at a party uh, at Tiberius' house. I don't know how that would happen. Tiberius was uh, feeding Christians to his dogs at that time. But anyway, she showed up at the party and was explaining to Tiberius all about 
uh, how Christ had risen from the grave. And Tiberius said that after being crucified, Christ rising from the grave was about as likely as one of those eggs turning red. Mary picked up an egg and it turned red in her hand. I don't know how much good that did Tiberius, but that's why we have Easter eggs. So let's start adding the spices to the jars. These uh, looser things go on the bottom, and we'll start with uh, peppercorns in each jar. Carefully measured, of course, to assure consistency of the product. And as you can see, we have a uh, completely sterile environment here. Spoonful of uh, minced garlic, plain old grocery store garlic. In each jar. Okay. And now we can start loading eggs. vegetables in try to spread the flavor throughout okay that's the last egg Turns out I don't have enough brine. You can always make more, it's fast and easy to make. So that is pretty hot, and as it cools, we'll form a seal. Folks, that's what I call accurate estimation. So there we have it. Five jars of pickled eggs. And in two weeks I'll let you know how they came out. So thank you for joining us here uh, in virtual living, and we will see you next time.